I'm Chris Shirk from the Toronto Crime Stoppers program. In the coming future, you're going to see a new feature on the Crime of the Week. We're going to be putting in a cold case appeal from the Toronto Police Homicide Squad. Here's Detective Sergeant Stacy Gallant from Toronto Police Homicide to tell us about what you can do to help. On Sunday, September 17, 2006, at about 7.20 a.m., a father discovered the lifeless body of his 21-year-old son, Patrick Santos, on the backyard patio of their residence located on Britlington Street in Toronto. His feet and hands were bound and there was tape wrapped around his head. The victim had been beaten and suffocated. Members of the deceased family as well as his girlfriend and some close associates were interviewed by investigators and it was determined that the last known contact with the deceased was with his girlfriend at about 4.30 a.m. via cell phone. The deceased informed her that he was heading home from a downtown club. It was apparent based on the scene examination that the persons involved in the murder were lying in wait at his residence when he returned home. Investigators has also established that the deceased was employed as an apprentice mechanic in Mississauga. Witness interviews have also established that the deceased was involved in an unsophisticated criminal enterprise involving debit cards with a number of other individuals. It appears that the deceased family were oblivious to these activities. Items were sent to the Center of Forensic Sciences where a DNA profile was developed and identified as an unknown male. This DNA is currently not in the National DNA Data Bank. A recent forensic phenotyping test identifies the DNA as coming from a male, mixed race, black and white. He is most likely to have brown eyes and black hair. Since this offense happened almost 10 years ago, this DNA likely belongs to a person that is currently between the ages of 30 and 40 years old, based on the age of the victim and his associates at the time of this offense. If this is your DNA, you need to come forward and explain why your DNA was present at this murder. You can wait and look over your shoulder for the rest of your life or until we come knocking at your door. There is no doubt that there are people that are close with this person or were close to him back at the time of the offense and you know he was part of this. This I am sure of. He likely would have told a girlfriend, a family member, a close friend or even someone he really didn't even know just to impress them. If you want to remain anonymous, that is perfectly fine. We have his DNA. So all we need from you is his name, nothing more. It is your duty to bring his name into this investigation so he can be held accountable. You've heard Detective Sergeant Gallant's appeal and he's asking that if you can, you call Homicide at 416-808-7400 with any information. However, at Toronto Crime Stoppers, we know that you can't always contact the police directly. If that's the case, you can call us. You'll never need to go to court. You'll always remain anonymous. 416-222-TIPS. That's 416-222-8477. Like Detective Sergeant Gallant said, in this case, all the investigators need is a name. Remember, at Toronto Crime Stoppers, you stay anonymous, crime doesn't.